At the top and all new at four, the home of the former Brownsville Fire Chief raided. Channel 5 News has learned Carlos Elizondo surrendered to the Cameron County District Attorney's Office less than two hours ago. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez is live outside of the Cameron County Jail now with the very latest details. Daisy. We're here at the Carrizales Rocker Detention Center in Olmito. We're inside the jail. The former Fire Chief Carlos Elizondo is being processed. Now, despite his arrest, right now the Cameron County District Attorney's Office is not confirming why the arrest, but just minutes ago, we caught up with Elizondo's attorney before he was leaving, Mr. Noe Garza. He tells us the two charges against his client are breach of fiduciary duty and theft by a public servant. This is the moment, take a look at this video, where Elizondo walked out of the district attorney's office in handcuffs and being escorted by two officers. He was put in a unit and driven here to the county jail. Earlier today, investigators with the district attorney's office and the help of Brownsville police executed a search warrant at Elizondo's home, which went on for hours. Elizondo in September was demoted from fire chief to lieutenant after an audit of the fire department revealed he authorized the rerouting of nearly 80 emergency calls to a private ambulance company. That audit alleges that cost the city a loss of income of more than $62,000. Previous to that, the firefighters union also raised allegations that thousands of dollars were missing from their funds, which Elizondo oversaw. We're still waiting on word from the district attorney, Luis Sainz, to confirm these charges against Elizondo. Again, Elizondo remains here at the Carrizales Rocker Detention Center. His attorney tells us each of the counts has an $8,500 bond. He says they're working on posting that now, and Elizondo should be out by tonight. Of course, we'll keep you posted with any new developments. For now, live from the Carrizales Rocker Detention Center, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 4.